Namaste beautiful yogis. Today I'm sharing my breastfeeding story because um, it breastfeeding tends to be a little bit challenging for some of us and I figured a lot of you are following my uh, pregnancy classes, my postnatal classes and that can help some of you just hearing other people's stories and other people's insights. So, baby is here. <laughs> she is talking. Hey mommy. We're two months postpartum. Hello mama. I love you. I love you. Breastfeeding tends to be something that we're all supposed to just naturally figure out. It's very natural, it's if we tune into our nature, it's kind of like birthing, it's in our it's in our nature basically to, to breastfeed our kids. Now I never had any expectations of breastfeeding, I never thought can, will I be able to breastfeed, will I not be able to breastfeed, I just had no expectations because I just even with pregnancy and with having kids, it wasn't anything I ever quite had big expectations of, like I never planned on it, so the same went with breastfeeding, I just, my story was, if I can breastfeed, I will, if I can't, you know, it's, I can't, because I heard that some people can't breastfeed and it's a big problem, some people don't produce milk, some people, it just, there can be quite a bit of problems with it, so I just, didn't have any expectations of it and didn't put any uh, pressure on myself about breastfeeding. Uh, of course, if I could, I figured I will. Because obviously we know that m breast milk, if you can, is best for your baby. But if you cannot, then just forget about it. It's You do the best you can in every situation. So if you are sticking with breastfeeding, you can breastfeed, that video is for you. Otherwise, obviously, just don't feel guilty about anything that happens in your life because guilt never helps about anything. So, hello. <laughs> Let's get started. So when uh, I first uh, gave birth, she latched on immediately and she started feeding and I, it, it was pretty natural. I didn't think anything of it. I didn't think about it. She just latched on, she fed, and then she continued feeding. And um, for the first day, she just kept feeding on a really good schedule. She kept asking for it, and she kept feeding whenever she wanted to feed. And it felt relatively okay um, as far as the pain goes. It wasn't too painful or anything like this. So it was somewhat painful, but it wasn't excruciating. And uh, I was kind of, because of everything I've listened about it, about the, uh, because of everything I've heard about it, I thought like there's no way we're gonna figure this out without a specialist. And it just in my head, I, I thought there has to be more to it than this. It, it can't be that simple. So <laughs> I asked a few of the midwives and they just looked at me and they were like, yeah, it's fine. So I was like, no, no, <laughs> you have to inspect us. Like, I'm not sure it's fine. And everybody kept saying, yeah, you're doing it fine, it's fine. So I still wasn't sure. Then when we got home, I um, I continued breastfeeding and she was actually gaining weight. Uh, and they're supposed to lose weight in the first uh, few months. She wasn't gaining weight, she was holding her weight. So everybody was saying, oh, you're perfectly fine. You, you two are doing fine. You're just breastfeeding champions because obviously she's holding her weight. She's eating enough. She knows what she's doing. You're doing fine. So I kept doubting it. And towards the third and the fourth day when you're transitioning from colostrum to um, milk, it became extremely painful. My uh, breast got so engorged and I remember I would feed her and it would be so painful, I would be just like this and I'll, and when I'm done in my head I would be thinking, oh god, I, I hope I don't have to breastfeed for another two days and I remember I was also tired and I would take a nap and my partner was taking care of her and he wouldn't wake me up so in my head I thought he probably fed her formula or something and it was almost wishful thinking although I had made the decision I will breastfeed her but it was very painful so um, so I, I started searching and I asked our, we had a pediatrician appointment and I asked her about it. She said, you're doing fine. 
uh, continue breastfeeding but I kept doubting it and I kept thinking uh, maybe she's not latching on properly I started checking her mouth for um, uh, lip tie or tongue tie and I kept thinking she probably has something maybe she's not opening her mouth mouth wide enough maybe some, there's something to it because it hurts so much and people kept saying oh you need a, a lactation consultant if uh, it hurts it shouldn't hurt so when I read all those things that it shouldn't hurt and all that I got kind of tense and I was thinking well there has to be more uh, it has to, we must be doing something wrong because it hurts all right um, and uh, then we had that pediatrician appointment she had lost uh, 10 grams since her birth, which is nothing. She's, uh, she, it's okay for her to lose up to 10%, I think, from the birth weight. So she basically hasn't lost much weight. And <laughs> so she, she's very content right now. So I figure I will let her just observe me. So, um, she has uh, only lost 10% of uh, 10 grams, which is nothing, not anything of her birth weight. So the pediatrician looked at her lip and looked at her weight gain, and she said, "You know what? You're doing fine. It's supposed to be painful. Uh, just give it time, and if within a week or two it doesn't resolve, then call a patient specialist because that's another stress to start calling other people and more people coming in. It's it's after birth, you really want to just kind of connect with your baby. You want this to be a special time for you to for you to rest and for you to go into your cave because you just left your body almost to your soul, left your body during giving birth. You want to cocoon at home and just kind of rest and nourish your soul and stay away from people and just just relax and bond with your baby you just met your baby you don't need a bunch of people coming in unless there is a big issue so I listened to her and I figured well probably we're doing something right if she says so uh, and when we came home I'm so glad on my Facebook group if you're new to my channel uh, I have a Facebook group called beautiful yogis I asked uh, a lot of the beautiful yogis there are mothers I asked about breastfeeding and 90% of you said it is supposed to be painful at first just you know stick with it relax with it and you get through it and the moment I realized that it is supposed to be somewhat painful something shifted in me and the next um, um, I think around then I started developing mastitis and I realized I need to wake her up a little more often because she would go for seven hours without eating during the day even though she was eating enough and gaining weight I wasn't getting my breasts empty enough during that transition from colostrum to milk. I figured I'll start waking her up. I started taking garlic, oregano, and within a, a day I resolved the mastitis. And the pain kind of went away, com not completely, but it went away. I would still have a little bit of pain left and maybe upon latching a little bit of pain, but it went away. Uh, I started using coconut oil on the nipples and that totally was the most soothing thing to my uh, for my nipples so they stopped hurting she was latching properly because I started relaxing so that's that's my advice um, now when you breastfeed and when you're at first at first it is supposed to be painful don't think you're doing anything wrong and don't think your baby is doing anything wrong as long as you're getting the baby is gaining weight um, it is supposed to be painful at first. You don't need to stress and overthink about it. It's a natural process. The baby will figure it out. Do um, do look up proper techniques for latching. Uh, one of the things that for me was very important is um, at first, now we don't do any of those things because we just kind of figured it out between each other, but at first you will grab your baby. Let me demonstrate with her. You will grab your baby. Hello, thanks for modeling. Thanks for money. You grab your baby and you will press your booty towards you and you will grab her underneath her neck so she has freedom of her head and then you will bring her to your nipple and she will latch on and um, you will wait for her to latch on by bringing your nipple to her above her uh, lip area. That, that way she smells the nipple, she opens her mouth 
white and her mouth never looked as white as some of the videos I was watching but it was white enough and she just latches on uh, like that and now we can breastfeed in every position I do recommend to experiment with um, laying on your side with your baby towards you because that's a very relaxing position for you and you can do it overnight so that you don't get exhausted you can even kind of doze off a little bit once you're confident with breastfeeding because that will help you uh, to be more rested which is very important for new moms so um are you now paying attention to me are you now paying attention uh, once i uh, got the technique right uh, that that's the most helpful technique uh, for the baby to latch on properly and for you because you don't want to grab your baby's head and shove the baby's head towards the nipple you just kind of want to hold the baby in the base of the head and neck area so the baby can adjust his or her head and she would adjust her head properly so her upper lip is turned up and her bottom lip is turned out she would do it herself uh, properly even if she latches on without the lips open she would just adjust her head if you give her that space and most babies probably would and um, so after you get the technique another very important thing that really I, I did it when it was painful was when she latches on I would have my shoulder tense and I would be totally focused on her I couldn't talk to anybody I couldn't listen because it was painful I would drop my shoulder even though I felt like not dropping it relax your body once you relax your body your milk will f flow properly your baby will relax too you want your body to be relaxed the baby will reflect you you are bouncing energy off of each other once you believe that you're doing everything right then very soon the pain will uh, decrease if you have um, crap nipples you can um, pump for a while um, are you getting cold? if you get crack nipples you can pump for a while uh, up until they heal with coconut oil on them and they will heal and up until your baby kind of figures out you to figure out how to deal with each other um, hello those are my um, my tips. After, uh, I I remember that when I was in pain, I uh, we uh, I sent my partner to baby service or some store like that, and he got me a breast pump. I tried to uh, pump, and it was just I, I couldn't figure it out. It was it freaked me out to be honest <laughs> with you. So I didn't breast pump. I just started feeding her more often so that the breast can empty. I started waking her up because she was a newborn and she was sleepy. Uh, once, like every time, I, if I feel that my breasts are starting to get too engorged, I would wake her up and I would feed her. And that didn't, I didn't need to do this for more than a day or two. And that relieved me from engorgement. Now, if you're getting engorged, that can cause a lot of pain. And that usually happens during the transition from colostrum to uh, milk. Get in the shower with hot water and massage your breasts. And if you find a place that is very um, lumpy, massage it towards the nipple under the hot water uh, also you can place a hot water bottle on that area especially if it's starting to get red like mastitis or um, if it's just lumpy you can place hot water bottles on there so that everything is starting to flow properly also uh, you can massage your breast before breastfeeding in the areas where it's lumpy before breastfeeding so that those areas drain and empty um, and if you start getting clogged ducts, uh, take oregano oil. I'll list this below and I have a, a, an article on my website on mastitis, so check it out, and garlic. Between those remedies, you can get rid of it. I got rid of it in one day, literally. It was so fast, I actually, we ordered another breast pump that the reviews said it was better, especially for women with smaller breasts. Uh, it would get more milk. Some breast pumps are particular for certain breasts I guess so we ordered a different one and by the time we ordered it with express overnight shipping from Amazon by the time it came I we had already resolved it and I never even opened the package that's uh, how quickly I resolved it with just hot showers waking baby up and relaxing um, and I would say that was the most important thing to just relax with it once your body is relaxed I can't I can't explain this enough once your body is relaxed everything will flow properly if you happen to have um, an actual issue with your baby 
that's fine you deal with it when it happens just don't fear things flow with things don't have expectations I know some people cannot breastfeed and they beat themselves down and they cry and all of that uh, just tell yourself you will breastfeed if you can and that's that that's the end of the story you cannot breastfeed if you cannot <laughs> obviously so tell yourself that because that will give you uh, freedom to relax there's plenty of formula fed babies that are very smart and healthy people in the world so just have this in in the back of your mind as not a failure it's just you do as much as you can hey are you talking to me and also relax your baby massage her talk to her every time you're gonna breastfeed her talk to her uh, with your sweet voice so she can hear you and she can also be relaxed herself while breastfeeding and between those things you will get it down it is supposed to be painful at first and it will become um, I think I uh, had a tiny bit of pain uh, after this initial uh, the four, fourth and fifth day were painful after that the pain started decreasing and I think I had latching light slight latching pain uh, in the first um, month or so or less and I had to always remind myself to relax my shoulder, to really relax my breath, use the yogic techniques um, of relaxation and breath and also relax her by talking and massaging her and always telling her how much I love her and all of that with my voice and uh, uh, now I don't even have latching pain it's just the most pleasurable, it's very worth it, it's the most pleasurable experience and I I just uh, literally want to go to the beach and breastfeed her because it's so therapeutic and you just also always look at her if you don't have enough milk uh, one thing you can do is always look at her with gratitude and love and just allow yourself to experience all these oxytocin hormones falling in love hormones and that will make you produce a ton of milk uh, also eat a lot of dates and sweet fruit don't worry about proteins because breast milk has only 6% of uh, calories coming from protein meaning it's extremely low just like an apple or something low and um, yeah you do want to be over my shoulder and um, that way she exercises her neck and um, uh, so eat enough uh, fruits and sweet uh, uh, sweet fruit because uh, babies in the first two months of their life actually uh, in the first four months they can uh, they mostly taste sweet they love sweet flavor they don't taste salty so they love sweet the sweetness of milk uh, so make sure you're eating a lot of, of carbohydrates I was eating in the very beginning to establish breast milk 3,000 calories probably from dates apples uh, and some veggies but I was eating a lot of fruit I think uh, that covers most of it. I think the most important thing is to just understand that some pain in the beginning is important because your nipple needs to develop um, kind of almost like a callus or it just needs to get used to the, that process. And uh, it's so worth it because it's such a, an amazing bond within, between mama and baby. Uh, one more thing I must say is a lot of breastfeeding moms get too eager to get back to their life right after they give birth they invite a bunch of people in the house they go out to a restaurant to, to meet people and show off the baby I would say try to take as much time to yourself and for yourself and your baby um, in um, just between you two or with your uh, husband and partner as you can because you need that intimate connection to get established and you need to calm down from the experience of birth it is an intense, a very intense experience uh, for me it felt like I literally left my body and came back um, so um, in a spiritual way as if my soul traveled to where her soul was to bring her that's a Native American belief that your soul must go to the stars to bring down a soul to earth uh, but in a way in a way that's what happens uh, make sure to encourage your baby with a lot of love and to look at her with a lot of love and all this love will make you produce a lot of milk also if you have extra milk let it drain take a shower just let it drain uh, uh, whenever it needs to sometimes I just 
it would drain out of me and I knew it was a good thing, it just drains out and it will regulate, everything will regulate according to your baby if you get engorged with her uh, uh, to feed. Um, those are my tips. If you have any questions or suggestions for a future mama, mama in me videos, let me know and I'll definitely try to uh, either share my experience or just my tips or uh, encouragement, advice, etc. Uh, thanks for joining us and we'll see you soon. Namaste. We love you guys. I love you. Are you just standing? I love you. I love you.